Well, first, that's not what he meant, and you're just trying to be, you know, like you know something. <laughs> you don't know anything. All right, let's see it. You can take our Bible in the English language, go to the Dead Sea Scrolls that were written 300 years B.C., and compare them to the King James Bible translation, and they're exact word for word to the dot and tittle. So the first problem here is that the Dead Sea Scrolls do not date to 300 BCE. They date to between 250 BCE and about 68 CE. And no, they do not match the King James Version word for word, jot and tittle. They don't even match each other that way. Where we have multiple manuscripts attesting to the same Hebrew Bible passages, there are always differences of some kind or another. The King James Version reflects the authoritative medieval Jewish manuscript tradition known as the Masoretic Text. And the Dead Sea Scrolls attest to a proto-Masoretic text tradition, but they also attest to other traditions, traditions that align more closely with the Septuagint, for instance. And there are significant differences there. So, for instance, the book of Jeremiah is one-sixth shorter in the Septuagint. And we have Hebrew Jeremiah manuscripts among the Dead Sea Scrolls that more closely align with the Septuagint tradition than with the Masoretic text. We can look in the Great Isaiah Scroll, compare it to the Masoretic text, and there's a difference in virtually every single verse. More than 99% of the verses have a difference of one kind or another. Now it's true that the overwhelming majority of them are spelling differences, and it's true that the majority of those spelling differences don't affect meaning. But there are many that do affect meaning, and there are many other meaning differences, some of them significant meaning differences, some of them significant theological meaning differences. The notion that they match exactly, absolutely laughable. There's no change there. We can trace our Bible back, the King James Bible authorized. We can trace this text back to the first churches over 2,000 years ago. No, you can't. We have hundreds of Bibles written in hundreds of languages that all say exactly the same thing. No, we don't. So you're ignorant of the subject and you just make these statements thinking that you got a gotcha moment or like maybe you make yourself look like you know something or something. Dude, we can prove the accuracy of the Bible more than any ancient document on earth. We can prove it. No, we can't. We have more manuscript evidence more quotations from people who lived way back then, and we can trace our Old Testament all the way back to Babylon. This is wildly misrepresenting the data. And you're going to make this ignorant statement. I'd advise you not come in here and make that ignorant statement. Well, you know what? You should, because then we can educate you. What else would you like to know? Well, the Bible's been changed an awful lot more than 6,000 times, but if you would like some actual data regarding textual criticism of the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament, rather than just this uninformed rhetoric and dogmatism, here are some books you can check out from some wonderful scholars.